back to the channel. The 89 is really pushing on now. Um, I have been doing some stuff off camera, which I'll run through in a second. I am kind of a bit on a time scale. You will understand in vi videos to come why I'm on a time scale, um, but I can't let anything go yet. Um, today, we're gonna get the last of the panels on the car. So you'll see there, some people noticed it on photos and Instagram. The rear balance is mocked up, so I've spent a lot of time off the camera getting it mocked up and ready to go. Um, this isn't a how-to video whatsoever. This is literally, I need to get the panel on the car. Um, but I'll run through what I'm doing and stuff like that. It's, it's, no, it's no big deal, but I'll, I will just try and get it done basically um so apologize for people who want to come for a how to i will obviously point out how i'm doing it but i'm not necessarily going to be able to film as much as i want to film because it's going to get done over the course of a few days most likely um but the, basically the aim game of this video is to get the balance and the two closer panels on so i'll run through now how i've got them fitted the troubles i ran into doing it because on Simpsons classic there's nothing ever perfect and i don't think you should betray panels that aren't you know necessarily fitting first time um i would say 60-70% of panels don't ever go straight in, you have kind of got to you know, work with them a little bit. Um, so I will show you how we do that and we'll move forward with it. But yeah, I'll show you what I've been doing off camera, but before I get into that, please make sure you subscribe to this channel, give this video a thumbs up, um, it massively helps the channel get noticed. Subscribing to the channel is the best way you can ever support us. Um, having you guys behind our backs, commenting away, liking the videos, watching the videos is the best thing you can do to support us. So please, please do that. Please hit that subscribe button. Um, you don't want to miss out on what we've got coming up. There's so much coming. Um, while I've got your attention on announcements, obviously, go check out our sponsors, Mini Mine and Frost Restoration. All the links in the description below. Uh, Mini Mine are classic mini specialists. Um, they sell all manner of parts bits and pieces for your car and they also have their own body shop so you can go check them out for that and Frost obviously is Super Rules and Parts company uh, tools company sorry so yeah go check them all out let's get started into this video I will try and film as much as possible as we can it probably won't be a very long video um, and we should make a game plan shall we right so what have I been up to under here so first off we're, we're talk about the the closers and the balance so that's all fitted on there now um, it's bolted on in just three points on there um, the closers are in, you can see they line up nicely with my holes and I've kind of done a little pen mark where I need to just clean up the metal. It's obviously all zinc primed already under there, um, but I need to take all this off. Um, obviously we're going to plug weld. Um, yet again, the situation I'm in at the moment, I can't use the swap welder, it just trips my house constantly. Um, but that will change hopefully. Um, either we acquire a better spot welder. Uh, it, it is a good spot welder, don't get me wrong, um, but it's very, very temperamental and I haven't got time for temperamental right now. So I know plug welding is, yeah, okay, a little bit more prep, um, but I know I'm getting a good weld and I'm not stressing out that it's not right. Um, so we're gonna plug weld, it's underneath the car. You're never gonna see it. And once it's cleaned up, you're never gonna know I've done it. So we'll get cracking with that. That's the reason for that. But these are heritage panels. So you've got a closer and a closer. You can kind of see how they work. They obviously box in this whole section here, subframe mounts on there, um, and it causes like, well, it gets like a, a, a kind of a strength to it as well. It adds quite a lot of strength to the back of the car. Um, so that's fitting all nicely. Obviously heritage panel as well. Um, taking the stickers off the closers, just got to take a sticker off that inside there. Um, under here, again, this is when he's cleaning up. This is just heat penetration from where I've welded. What else have we done? Arch repair, just needs dressing back. Uh, we've done a little bit of seam welding on the hill board because I've, I've also been plug welded and then I've seam welded it as well. Um, don't have to do that, but I like belts and braces. Let's just get it done. The subframe's in there. Well, it seems sealed. Again, you're not going to know, but I know I put a bit more strength into the car. It's been apart so much, so it's just the way I'm doing it, guys. Not necessarily saying it's the right way to do it. Um, on the floors here, like I say, if you caught the last video, this is all basically done. All of this just needs minor cleaning back. This is all just plug welds and stuff like that. Basically what I've been up to is all of this inside here is finished. So the front end on this side, so the tab's just stitch welded on there. All that's done, that inner wing is obviously how it should be now. Um, there's a couple of tacks I've put on top of the closer just to join the wing to it, just to make it a bit solid. Again, need to remove that sticker and all that's all that's finished around there. So yeah, we also found, so I don't know where it is now because I primed it, somewhere around here there was a little bit of corrosion coming through. So I trimmed all that back and it turned into a little hole and that's been repaired but yeah you can't even tell so you can see the original color of the car we're scratching all that off and cleaning it we're getting to the point where we're prepping for paint so the car's a little bit further around now someone did make a comment saying why don't you put the car completely upside down i can but on my own it's quite difficult to do um the, the jig in that way isn't isn't the best for that situation um just looking at that that's pretty rubbish isn't it so we have to get on with that 
Um, but yeah, it, this is the best way for me at the moment because I can stand up, I can do everything. Like this whole valance is not going to be an ordeal whatsoever because I can I can get to all that. Like I'm just kneeling there, so I'm still stood up and I've stood up welding there, so it's absolutely fine. Then a series of plugs all the way down. It's going to be nice and easy doing this. I can paint it when it's like this as well. It's at a really nice height, so yeah, yeah, pretty happy of it. It shouldn't take too long to get sorted from here. So let's get into it. I'm going to set you guys up. I'm going to remove all these panels. I'm going to get them trimmed up tidied up, prepped up, painted, and ready to go. So remember, like, share, and subscribe, and let's get going. All right, so I invite you guys to a makeshift workbench out here. Um, obviously drilled all my holes, clean everything back, just gonna put some sink primer on this side so the mating face still has primer. Um, these are all prepped up so these are gonna get plug welded and uh, stitch welded on so they're all ready to go again. Once these basically I need to get it all back mocked up again um, and then weld, take the valance back off, get in, weld these properly then pop the valance back on but once these are in the place then that's the bit we need to do because obviously I need to line up with the subframe holes and stuff so yeah now let's get it fitted back to the car. Right, so you can kind of see where I'm going with everything. So, like I say, this is on temporarily. I just want to get these tacked in or pretty much welded in, um, top and bottom, and then I can take this off because I know that these are in the right place then. Um, so what we do now is just continue to clean all this off. Um, it's gonna need a few tech screws and stuff to just pin it all down, very fixed steel this. Um, and then we'll, we'll get cracking a bit, but yeah, it all lines up pretty nice. So we just need to get going. Um, I'm going to run a stitch up the back of the valance there um, instead of plug welds and I know it can get nice, nice bit of penetration on it and add a bit of strength back into the car. Um, once I've got these on I'll take this off and then obviously zinc, plate, zinc uh, paint the face of that because obviously you probably noticed I put it on without doing that. Um, all these need to come off again anyway to do the same underneath these put some zinc on it but I just wanted to know it all went together fine. So now they're clamped up I'm just going to put some paint on the underside of this. Um, once this is on, obviously, you know what's happening. You know what's happening. So in this aperture here, this little corner, it's gonna get cavity painted, isn't it? So once these are in their place, that's why I wanna get these in. I'm gonna seam seal in there and get some paint on inside. Cause then these corners are all painted inside. So that's what we're gonna do. Um, on the passenger side one, there's a hole. Cause obviously this balance comes for left and right hand drive cars. So this side we obviously wanna keep for our fog light holes. But there's the exact same mirror that in so once this is well to be honest maybe before i put the balance on i'll just tack these in and get rid of these holes because they're just bugging me and they're just a rush trap so let's do that while we can let's crack on all right so the faces of them are all painted everything's primed up so it's time to get them on um gonna use two bolts to hold in the subframe mount and then obviously the clamps but yeah should be good to go so we're gonna get these kind of in their place take the balance back off and then obviously fully weld these in and put the balance back on, that's the plan. All right, so they're all bolted up, ready to go. Top and bottom, time to chuck the welder out.
Right guys, you saw there, I filmed as much as I could, then I ran out of battery. Um, so these are stitch welded on, um, and plug welded around there, you can just vaguely see them, ground it back. So these are absolutely rock solid to the car. What I will do is just do a bit of welding around here as well when I'm done. Um, obviously all welded in here, then took the valance off, and that's all seam sealed now. This is all in zinc primer, so it's all good. And then obviously I seam sealed over the top of that. Uh, we're gonna get some red paint in here, so I'm just gonna mask off where I don't want there to be red paint, basically. And then we'll we're, we're crack on and get it done. So both sides are done like that now. And I think that's nice and strong, not a bad job. Never done these before, so yeah, pretty happy at that, nice and strong. Um, up inside the car, you can see the penetration that it's got all the way down there. So yeah, pretty happy at that. Time to get some more red paint on this car. Cavity paint, last cavity to paint as well. So yeah, pretty happy at that. Right guys, so it's the next day. Um, like you saw on that last slide there, this is all clumped in, ready to go. It's actually rock solid with the amount of clumps I've got on it. Um, everything's prepped. Um, there's zinc primer between both these surfaces, uh, or well-free primer, if you want to call it. And I think we are ready to get going on it. So, yeah. It fits as best as it's gonna fit, I think. I think that's the best way to put it. Um, so yeah, we'll get going with it. Quite happy with that. And then we tidy it all back. So let's get the welder out and a load of plug rolls. Right guys, so plug welds are going well. Um, we've kind of done the top there, done a few, missed a few to keep the heat. But yeah, it's going well. So I'm gonna crack on and get this done guys. And I'll bring you back in when it's all done. There we have it. The last panel on this car. So welded up all along inside here. So you can also see penetration for it on there. Everything needs dressing back. I will do that off camera. It is absolutely <laughs> rock solid. I'm really happy about how it's gone to be fair. So yeah, it's all kind of, it's come together nicely so we can get all the supporting bolts out and uh call that done right guys that brings this video to an end so <laughs> yeah you can probably tell i'm happy this is the last panel in this car there is now no panels kicking about for this car whatsoever they're all on the vehicle um that being said i do have a lot of cleaning back to do now on this valance um like i say it would be nice to, to spot weld it. it won't be long hopefully until i can to spot weld panels uh, but obviously it's like they draw a lot of electricity and it just trips my house. So um, got family and things like that. I kind of need to uh, bear that in mind. Um, but yeah, so off camera, I'm gonna clean all this back, take these bolts out, uh, flip the car back round. Um, there's a little bit of welding I need to do on the passenger side um, and buttoned up the front end, which I'll do off camera. So the next video you guys should see really, providing everything arrives okay. So obviously now I'm waiting on materials, um, is I'm gonna epoxy prime the whole thing on the side of the car. Um, I was throwing the idea of wrapped or a stone chip, I didn't know which to do, um, but then I walked into my garage and seen I've got six bottles of stone chip. Um, so we're gonna stone chip it and then color it over the top, which is what I've done on all my cars I've done. So, and it's worked absolutely well and it stands the test of time. Um, and plus it's 100 quid I haven't got to spend right now. So yeah, we're gonna crack on. We're gonna get this dress back. And uh, yeah, I'm really quite excited for this now. So it should be good. Um, if you haven't already, obviously please subscribe to the channel. Uh, I'm gonna try and get as many videos as I can out. I'm trying to stick to two a week. So please bear with me. Um, obviously, if you subscribe, you're going to see the videos coming up. Um, there's quite a lot going on in the next month or so. So I will pop, there will definitely be a video a week. I will do my utmost to do that, but I want to stay at two. Um, but if I drop a Wednesday video, maybe, you know the reason why I'm doing more behind the scenes. It's not because I'm not doing anything. Um, so 
Thank you very much for supporting the channel once again. And yes, yeah, smash the subscribe button. Go check out our sponsors, all the link in the description below. And uh, yeah, give this video a thumbs up. And yeah, I'm happy with that. All done. Catch you next one.